hello good morning to everybody and uh, good afternoon and good evening to the people all over the world uh, so this is my second session about um, Kashurina in the last session I have covered a uh, few aspects about Kashurina about the species uh, then uh, uh, the importance of why we should uh, select Kashurina especially for the tropical people and then the uh, tips for uh, growing Kashurina in a very healthy way and uh, some common causes of failure also I discussed in the last uh, um, session and uh, more thing are uh, the techniques of uh, pruning, pinching, wearing everything covered in the last session. Now <clears throat> today's session I, I want to give an, some uh, the, the headings that is uh, I want to inform you what are the subject I am discussing today is uh, first about the about some practice that is very important as the bonsai growers are concerned and uh, then <clears throat> I want to uh, design and the creation of bonsai in that aspect uh, designing a bonsai then some styles of bonsai and uh, <clears throat> finally i want to discuss i don't know whether i can finish it uh, uh, today i want to discuss about the transformation of bonsai into some other other uh, style that is also this um, that also i want to discuss but i don't want to take more than 30 to 40 minutes so if if i am unable to uh, finish everything uh, within this uh, time I, can, I, I will stop it here otherwise uh, again I will uh, make one more session that is a third session on Saturday that is on 6th that is my plan anyway we will go through it <clears throat> this um, you all are learning something from me from my experience but uh, that is only add your knowledge but the most important aspect of bonsai art is practice that is uh, i started in very early in 80s i got uh, at that time there is no way to learn from masters or something so i have learned myself and i got the book of uh, peter chan in that book he mentioned about one thing about practice there he told uh, he mentioned that if you want to expertise the art you must grow thousands of plants that uh, that is the one of the reason i have collected a lot of plants and worked on it because that is the only way to uh, learn the art because no other way book and practice with the materials so that is my advice to all the people if you want to expertise the art grow thousands of plants <clears throat> then i have some questions uh, regarding last uh, last session that is some questions uh, somebody asked about um, i will cover first cover uh, cover that that is very we want few uh, i answered everything but a few questions I want to discuss during this session. There is a, a one manager, Surya Kumar from Bombay, asked about the uh, when your uh, cashewina is dying or it is shedding its needles and the root system is very bad condition that is in black condition. Then I told them to put it in a dry sand. Uh, that is only a, there is a possibility of uh, sprouting but uh, that I am not sure about that because you came to know about the life of the uh, Kashurina only after it is fully dead so revival is very difficult with the case still we can try this with put it in a sand so that the excess water will be absorbed by the sand and there are a lot of humidity within the root system so if the if there is any life in the a root system it may sprout uh, that is the and you give lot of spray on the top of the cashurina also don't keep it in uh, dark it is must be in a 
bright place not under sunlight that is the uh, one question another uh, question is i uh, got from uh, how to develop the weak branches if you are have a, having a weak branch um, which is uh, below the um, below uh, which is a important branch and it is uh, again again and it is going to be weak and the thick branches are developing then the problem is gradually this weak bran branch may die so but that branch is very very impo important in that situation how to develop the branch thicker and improve the growth of the branch that is uh, one way is do pruning on other branches um heavy pruning and encourage the growth of the weak branch one way and allow the tip of the branch upwards so that the growth will be more with that branch that is one method and another question is uh, asked about uh, <coughs> development of uh, nebari that is also very easy with this that is possible only during rainy season or high um, season high humidity then you cover the base with um, little cow dung or sand or um, this uh, cocoa peat cocoa peat or uh, this sphagnum moss then naturally the root will be produced on the base of that that you can spread then uh, develop it and another question asked is about the dieback because the dieback the is earlier told you about the weak branch first if any dieback is uh because of some infection fungal attack but plant is having the um capacity to or uh, have the energy to withstand that but weak branches are the casualties so first the needle will turned into pinkish color that i am not having any uh, anything to show that i am con uh, conducting all these classes with the photos available with me you know that i am in under lockdown at hyderabad so i can't show all uh, practical um, plants to you anyway this if it is showing a pinkish color that may be some fungal attack then the, you have to apply some fungicide and uh, control the watering and, uh, and check the water stagnation and uh, fungicide that is the remedy for that and another uh, question asked is microrhiza in um, kashurina that is uh, that is i am not worked much on that but i found from my practical from my experience i found if i try to depot or take the healthy plant out from the uh, pot i am able to see lot of white just like a fungus around the root system then i found that it is a microrhizum it is not a fungal attack but because if it is a fungal attack that will affect the casuarina but if this white formation around the root is there the health of the plant and its growth is wonderful so i found that everything is from observation i see this may be the microrhizum which is a associated fungal fungus Uh, with the root system, which is promoting the growth of the uh, root system, what you have to do is during repotting, if you happen to see such a, a root system with a white deposit, you cut it and it separate the roots with the white, you know, white fungus, and put it again in the uh, during repotting, so that the fungal fungal uh, fungus will grow inside the pot. and that will help the plant to grow these are and one more important aspect asked by one majundar uh, from calcutta uh, he asked about the developing casuarina on the ground that i will discuss along with the uh, how to um, develop materials that is it's a big subject uh, because i am mainly concentrating on creation of bonsai but the creation of uh, this um, material is very very important if you have a beautiful and a potential material with you then only you can create a good bonsai out of it so creation of potential material is the base of all the 
bonsai creations. So he asked about growing casuarina on the ground. It's a lot of problem in uh, digging out the casuarina from the ground because everything is because of its uh, root formation and the protection given to the root system to be alive during the reporting. It's very difficult also. So I am not, uh, <clears throat> but uh, in uh, growing on the ground, you will get a very thick trunk. But our aim of creating potential material is, or creating a potential material is, um, that is, uh, you have to develop a lot of features, potential features for a good bonsai. That is, uh, in generally, basic, <coughs> basic features for a bas basic um, style, all are working, and that is, uh, a thick trunk with the taper branches and like that. But uh, such a material you can create only formal upright or informal upright or windswept or cascade or something like that. But now the trend is going beyond that. For that you have to create develop a material which is having a different type of movement to the trunk. Then only you can create a different type of um, bonsai. <clears throat> Here I am um, telling uh, some of the material about the materials which are um, <clears throat> having different potentials um, and I will show you some of the uh, materials here. Yeah, this is, you see this material. Um, it is having a different type of movement. So with this, this is also having a very old material, having a different type of uh, movements. If you, this, you see this, this is also a different type of movement. With these materials, you can create any type of movement, any type of style with this material. So in this way, you have to develop your materials. That is the success of creating a bonsai, 50% of is with the create by making a potential material and 50% is with the talent of the artist. But even with the uh, bad material, experts can create something different. That is uh, also there. Then <clears throat> there are um, four, five um, uh, steps in creation of bonsai. First step, creation of the potential material. Then creation of a bonsai from that material, then refinement of bonsai. But even after creation of the uh, materials, um, this bonsai, it is very important. You must know how to maintain that, refine that according to the intention of you or the master. That is very, very important. The refinement is very important. Then after that, you have to maintain and retain the finished bonsai. Then the fourth one is maintenance of them. That is a very easy in comparison with all other work. It is a very simple work, maintenance. That is that you have to do throughout its life. You have to do that. You can seek the help of any skilled workers or uh, some support of the bonsai artist also. But um, this uh, maintenance is the easiest part. So two aspects, one is the creation of bonsai, the other is the maintenance of the bonsai. So before going to designing a bonsai, I want to discuss about some of the basic styles that I can explain to you through my photos, which are available with me. All the photos are taken. Uh, maybe four, five or eight, one, two, three photos are even seven, eight, the casket photo <clears throat> that is more than 10, 12 years old. I'm not having the pres present photos. So I am one by one. I am telling something about the styles, the, the basic styles and the um, classic styles. I will say like that, classic styles. So what I am, I have to, um, <clears throat> Uh, show some of these styles here. Uh, you see, you see this style is um, raft style. 
raft this is the raft is a very common style but the creation of raft style um with the casuarina is a lot of things i can't explain all the aspects with the each and every style but i will um, some tips i can give because i have to show a lot of styles uh, not a full style but full of the styles which i am having only the styles um whose photos are with me you see that this is the raft side so it is not very clear the base is completely connected um <clears throat> you can see the base base of the um it is fully connected a base it is not uh, cleanly exposed this is very important because the base must be very thick otherwise you can't develop um the casuarina above that raft the base so for that we have to use a material which is having a very thick base then only you, you will get a successful raft style you can see um uh, it is another photo of it uh, you see um this uh, raft um you see this a uh, root a lot of tips how to take care of the raft how to maintain the raft a lot of it is a um lot of things you have to take care and this is a kind of group planting then you see this is my one of my very big and very old group i am not having the front view that is um, a, this was attracted by jun laga during his visit to my garden and he is uh, liked it very much but it is only a side view you are having so anyway i will show some other um, uh, <clears throat> it is a um, um, group of 11 trees then you see this is another small group um this is a group for in this group i am giving importance to the main tree this is the main tree all others are secondary trees if you are main tree and the two trees joining to the the front trees are showing um, it must be very powerful trees then the group will be such back tree you have to place some small small trees this is the basic arrangement of um, a group planting that is um, during the lockdown i have started a question answer session in my face uh, timeline in that i discussed about a lot of styles very detailed way and uh, if you go through that you will get a lot of tips uh, about uh, uh, this uh, group planting this is another uh, important uh, group planting of pinching group this is uh, uh, this is a photo taken nearly 5 5 more than 5 years back at the time of arranging it now its shape is entirely different uh, this is a pinching group and uh, you see the first tree is very thick and all others are very small this is very important this is the first tree is making the um, as a design more beautiful you see this is a uh, another tree this is also photo photo this is a informal group this is also taken more than 10 years back uh, now it's a uh, uh, photo is entirely different it is very huge now i have to <laughs> reduce the size also then i tried with the, um, this um, <clears throat> cascade is very difficult to make a cascade the main problem is this uh, tail always this tail portion become weak i have seen lot of uh, uh, this uh, cascade if it is going very down below this uh, pot again this portion will become weaker so i am applying so many methods so many uh, uh, botanical uh, clues to improve this uh, portion i will say one or two points for this purpose that is first you see the growth on the top it is always vigorous you know that it is a plant with the um apical dominance so because of that always the plant growth is very vigorous on the top of the plant so what you have to do is um you have to um do lot of pruning here and increase the growth here so that this portion will be 
developed this is the uh, only thing and so many things say uh, apply your common sense and uh, everything when you re report it uh, do a lot of pruning on the top less pruning on the lower portion in this way you can encourage and uh, uh, don't use any material um, with very thin flow like this thin branch uh, take this thin branch as the cascade then development will be very difficult so the success one fifty percent of the success in this cascade is depend on the uh, selection of the material for that. Then I will show you this is the uh, very common and uh, people say formal upright. This is the formal upright. My formal upright. It is a little huge tree. It is not pruned properly. You can see one side is completely trimmed. You can see this portion complete. This is not pruned. So this is the first step of pruning. Then I develop a lot of pad here and there. Even um, at the time of display, you can um, display Kashurina in a different way. So expose more branches and little needles. That is also beautiful just like uh, displaying this um, what do you call this uh, ficus without leaf just like you can give more um, exposure to the branch formation and it needles this this is the time to make the pruning this is before this the, you see this growth pinch it so that it will become like this then use your scissors and make the parts then in that way and the crown also you have to create this is the formal upright then I will say about the informal. This is uh, uh, photographed three, four years back. At the time, this uh, during the last Mysore convention, I got uh, this uh, BCA Excellence Award for this um, Kashurina. So now its uh, shape is entirely again. It is improving, improving, improving the shape and everything. And uh, this is the by informal upright style. Then you come to this uh, tin trunk. It's a very, I will say, call it as a uh, informal tin trunk. But uh, there's a proportion of the two trunks are not correct. But still, um, I love it and keeping it. It needs a lot of refinement. You see, for example, I will tell you. This is the work of um, bonsai is you can't stop it at any time. You take this branch. According to me, it must come down. So again, you have to wire it and bring it down. Then it's, this is the correct time to uh, wiring it. So um, Kashurina needs wiring throughout its life. Once after finishing its uh, basic trunk line, basic trunk um, branches and uh, some secondary branches. After that, you have to do the wiring once in three, four, five years at the time of drastic pruning. So one question is also asked about the drastic pruning by some Teresa, Teresa garden or something. Drastic pruning, you ha you can do if you feel that the tree is fully crowded with the branches, over uh, ramification and a lot of needles and the plant is very healthy, then only you can think of drastic pruning that you have to do once in three or four years. A drastic pruning at that time you are removing all the unwanted branches unwanted growing tips everything and check any growth any branch is having in um, having there without any curve then you have to wear it and make the curve so uh, with, uh, with uh, don't keep any branch without any movement that is very that is the purpose of wiring that you have to do you see the next this is a uh, very interesting the photograph is not uh, revealing everything so actually this is a raft of um three three branch a uh, three trunk this is not visible this is its apex this is the main tree with this apex this is the secondary but it looks like a um but it is looks like a tin trunk 
but it is not a tundra it is actually it is a raft this is the second tree this is the first tree and this is the side third tree but this is uh, uh, connected with the same portion this um, um, you can call it uh, this is actually started with this when it was very young i want to make a raft of three trunks but this dominated this is it is anyway in this way i made it you see this is another informal tree um <clears throat> very old tree maybe more than 20 25 years old um so this is also a informal tree you see this is a slanting style so here you see lot of pruning now this in this stage because this is not a finished one in this stage you have to do the wiring on the small small branches this is the for that this tree was completely pruned for wiring so this um all these small small branches you have to wire it and arrange it you see this is a dead wood that is also but it is a thick tree trunk thick, thick branch so you can do a lot of pruning in this also this is a typical formal slanting style this is um you can call it a informal style so the tree is growing nice. but it is a slight tilt so informal slant it is only a informal mm, uh, tree and you see this is informal twin trunk see this all the branches are have a trunk or having movement like this so i i am this can be a informal twin trunk uh i think this is same tree or uh, maybe different yeah it's same tree it's at a, a different stage so another is uh, um triple trunk you can call it a triple trunk so this is one trunk this is a this is the main tree so triple trunk um actually this three branches this three trunk must start from the base sometimes it is not possible so when it become another 10 years this portion will become very thick and uh, you you can create a wish, uh, illusion il not illusion that is uh, in real um it is it looks like a three trunk started from a single branch because after 10 years this will become very thick this is also another uh, <clears throat> tree with a triple a triple trunk and uh, this is a uh, another um, i think it is a brumdia unfinished it is uh, uh, taken for pruning and wiring before that it looks like this and uh, this tree is very interesting i am not having its beautiful photo at present situation it is a very old photo which is available with me so i put it you can see the yellow needles in this uh, tree that is uh, that you must understand which is i told you yesterday in my first session watering is very very important because when you give water in a correct proportion according to the climatic condition then nothing will happen but suddenly after the rainy season some um, the sun is shining and a very hot season or when suddenly the water may not be sufficient for the tree first what it will do is it will shed all its old needles when you see such thing happened you must be very careful the plant is suffered for one day with uh, um a little water because of the um, it is unable to survive because of the water watering is less so in that way you can find out our you are watering is not correct for one or two days so then you correct it immediately this is uh, not a disease this is the regular sometimes 
uh, it is a process of shedding uh, needles also because the change of the climatic and the uh, rainy days for one week or two weeks suddenly the rainy days are over and the sun is shining and the temperature is very hot then also the, the um, casuarina may shed some of its needles there is a story behind this creation this i call it a single single branch tree but it now it looks like a, um, a semi casket but it is not made as a semi casket i want to say that uh, nearly 15 years back at that time say age of that tree is only 10 years it had a fall from the top and upper portion it was a formal upright and upper portion completely broken leaving only one branch it happened 15 years back then i thought i want to make a one branch tree then i developed one growth from this point and developed this apex this was the story of making this uh, uh, long one side br branch of this one then i want to say something about the literati style because the kashura is one of the best uh, uh, species for creating wonderful literati here all the literati are created five years back only because uh, every time when i started to create some style i will work on lot of materials then only i can uh, practice that even there are, lot, there are a lot of defects and fault in this creation slowly i will rectify it and make it more beautiful so that you can see uh, some of the um, this uh, literati created by me from kasharina kashan is one of the best material for literati style you can see this is a, a kind of tin trunk this is also a tin trunk with a different moment and uh, this is uh, another uh, typical formation of uh, this uh, <coughs> literati and uh, this is another uh, uh, literati moment this is i am not fix the apex still i am trying to refine it these are all the important styles